Well, John Sands is right on top of things. He's been in touch with Texas Instruments and has identified a permanent fix for the clipping bug that we examined in our earlier video. John just posted uh, this video this morning, and it goes through and explains the permanent fix. So I'll reference this video in my video. If you'll look down uh, to the bottom below my video, you'll see the links for it. Uh, but the link uh, directly, visually, is this link right here that's in blue. Uh, you can also just uh, Google it. Uh, I mean, I just go through and do a search uh, on YouTube for Amateur Radio TI Audio Bug Update, and you'll get the same thing. Uh, the main thing that I want to cover real quick is the actual bug fix. So I'll come down to my uh, sound card uh, interface and come up and hit Recording Devices and bring up uh, our sound card. And you can see uh, the signal link here. This is the the uh, item that we're talking about. And the fix is actually very simple. Uh, as John explains in his video, please take a look at that. Uh, but the fix is just to go in and go to the levels. And you can change uh, this indicator normally to be uh, in uh, percentage, which is probably about 100. What you need to do is change it to decibels. And then you're just going to lower the decibels down to zero or the closest thing to it. Uh, so in my case, I can't hit it exactly zero. Uh, so 2.1 is what I can get. And click on OK. And that basically is the fix. Uh, your computer is going to remember that, and every time it comes back up, it'll come back up at that levels. And then at that point, you'll go to your radio and signal link and turn up the levels to get a couple bars bouncing with just background noise. Uh, so that's basically the fix. Uh, so if we'll come back in here in properties and go to levels uh, where we were again it would be it all the way up and that's what uh, you'll normally see with the bug uh, real quickly I want to bring up an oscilloscope program that John has a, a link to on his side and I'll link to it also but this actually visually shows you uh, what's going on and the really nice thing about this uh, oscilloscope Skill, oscilloscope program is that it's free. Uh, so uh, we'll link to that and John's linking to it on his website also. Uh, but you can see what the clipping that's occurring here uh, and that's what we're trying to get rid of. So if you'll go in and open up the properties box again and we'll come down and go to the levels and we're going to just slowly bring this down and if you'll watch what's happening here you'll notice uh, that the levels will eventually come down and not be clipped anymore. And again, you can see right here, it's occurring around 14 dB with just background. But if we were actually receiving a signal, it would still be clipping. So you really do want to come all the way down uh, to as near zero as you can get. And at that point, you'll see uh, an image that it looks like this. Uh, make sure when you look at the oscilloscope that you've got it set here to about uh, 250, uh, 200, somewhere in that ballpark uh, to see these effects and about four milliseconds will be fine. So once you've set it down to 2.1 or close to zero as you can get it and click on OK, uh, your system's going to remember that and that is the fix. Uh, so we'll just click on OK and save that and we'll close the oscilloscope. But make sure when you use the oscilloscope you come over the settings tab and make sure you have the signal link chosen as your input. Uh, to make sure we're looking at the right thing. But this oscilloscope program is very cool. It's got you know, all these different tabs, signal generator, and uh, things that you can look at. So just awesome. Uh, uh, you can go get that. Uh, please donate to it. That would be just wonderful. So anyway, that's there. That's very cool. We'll link to it. Go ahead and go watch John's video. He explains in uh, his very short video on YouTube uh, how to permanently fix the bug. And uh, it was between the last video that you saw and this video, Video, you'll fully understand the bug and how to permanently fix it. Uh, leave any comments on John's sites uh, that you come up with. Uh, so that's it. That's the update. For more information on WinLink, please go to the main website at winlink.org. You can get everything there from current WinLink news to all the details of WinLink in the Book of Knowledge. If you want to learn how to install, configure, and operate RMS Express, please go to my YouTube channel by searching for K4REF and watch my complete WinLink RMS Express training series that covers all the details of how to get started. 
So that's it for this update. 73 from K4 REF.